So you want to survive your first high school dance? I got you. Yo, what is going on guys? Sean is Magic here, back at again with another video. Just a couple weeks ago, I posted a video on how to survive your freshman year of high school. In that, I talked about going to school dances. And so today, we're going to continue that and talk about how you can survive your first school dance. But before this video starts, if you guys could hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button down below with the notifications on so you never miss an upload. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers and my goal for this month is to reach that. I think we only have like 100 more to go. So please, if you can, help me out. Anyway. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you're a freshman, you're coming into high school, man, and the first school dance is coming around the corner. Now for my school, the first school dance is homecoming, and it's probably the most fun dance of the entire school year. Everybody's coming back from summer, it's football season, and this is really like the highest, most exciting part of high school. After homecoming and the football season, it kind of kind of goes down, not gonna lie. But anyways, it's homecoming season. Now the first step to surviving your high school dance is to either find a group of friends to go with or like a date. Now usually most guys ask girls, but it's 2018, it could be the other way around. But if you're the person asking, you need to have some creative proposals. There are so many online. I'm putting some up on the screen right now. Now my suggestion is that you find out what that person you're asking likes. For example, my freshman year, I asked a girl who played soccer for my school. And so I made a poster that kind of revolved around that. So depending on what that person likes, you can make a poster or just have a proposal that kind of fits into that. If they don't have really like a specific interest, there's so many general poster ideas and proposals that you're able to do. For example, last year I did a poster that said, it would be sweet if I could go to homecoming with you and like the poster was covered in all sorts of like candy. So yeah, that's some like general ideas. There's other general ideas up on the screen right now, but it does make it more special if you can think of like a specific interest that that person is into and kind of revolve it around that. Next, you gotta actually ask the person. This can be one of the most nerve wracking parts because I've been there, man. Like, like what if she says no? Here's the thing, if they say no, man, I said this in the previous video, they probably don't deserve you as a homecoming date. Because if you took the time to make it like a poster and buy some like stuffed animal or something to ask somebody and they say no, then they're definitely not worth your time. And if there are any girls watching this and you know you're gonna be asked by somebody, man, just give them a chance. It takes a lot of freaking courage to actually ask a girl to homecoming, especially if you're not the most extroverted person. Doing something like that does take like a lot of willpower. So, so I'm looking at you, girl watching this video. You better say yes. But with all that being said, you don't have to go with an actual date. You can also bring your friends, literally just a group of your boys or your girls. You guys can all rock homecoming. So after you got a date, you gotta figure out what you guys are gonna wear. It all depends on what the theme is. So for example, the first year it was sports. So everybody was dressed up in jerseys, you know, football helmets. People were wearing like gold medals. Just anything that revolves around the topic. Now, if you have a date, it's really important that you match with them. Or if you're in a group of people, you want to coordinate, make sure that everybody's looking similar. You can search up so many ideas online, even if you have a tough theme. You can see on the screen, all of the guys in my homecoming group last year wore togas because the theme was homecoming BC. Also, if you have that as a homecoming theme, I pray for you because it was hard to dance in that. All right, so now that you have a date or a group of friends and your costumes, and you guys are all gonna be looking fly, now you need to be ready for the actual dance. If you're the one who asked, make sure you buy your dates tickets. That's just something courteous for you to do. I mean, they are going with you. Small gestures like that go a long way. Even if you guys aren't really like a thing or whatever, you're kind of just going as friends, it is advised that you do buy your dates tickets. Also, if you guys are going to anywhere before the dance, like last year we went to a local restaurant, pay for your date too. Even if you don't have money, just be like, yo, dad, I'm going to this dance. Can you lend me a few bucks so I can pay for my date? Your dad's been there before, he should understand. Now also on the day of the dance, you wanna make sure that you guys get a lot of photos with your groups. Here are some of the photos we took from last year's homecoming. Just get a lot of photos of you with your group and with your date. Because high school, like I said in my other video, is all about the experience. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be looking back at these photos, you'll be like, dang man, I remember that. Once you actually arrive to the dance, there are some key notes in surviving the actual dance. For one, note that it is gonna be kinda hot in there. Most dances, even prom, winter formal, tolo, homecoming, it's gonna be in an enclosed area, whether that's an open commons or like an actual ballroom. It's gonna be enclosed and there's gonna be a lot of people. So it's gonna get hot in there. 
I mean, everybody's dancing, everybody's sweating, especially if you're in a mosh pit of people. I should have said this earlier, but you gotta make sure that you get that deodorant in, bro, because you don't want to be that guy dancing, freaking pit stains, smelling like your local dumpster, man. It's not gonna be good. So make sure you're aware of that. When it comes to the actual dancing, man, my biggest piece of advice is, is to just have fun and don't be afraid of what people think about you. Literally just dance, that's it live in the freaking moment because if you start to think like oh I can't really dance like what if people start judging me whatever that's just gonna ruin the entire night man of course it helps if you learn some dance moves beforehand I can't dance for my life as you guys saw in my other video here's a clip of that I ain't doing no plan baby you did <laughs> next time <laughs> oh <laughs> wait <laughs> baby girl what you doing where your man <laughs> I just popped a Zan 50,000 ninja as long as you're having fun with it, it doesn't even matter. You can even stand out at a dance if you try to learn a dance beforehand. For example, freshman year, I specifically learned... <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys. I learned the dance Juju on that beat just for homecoming because I knew they would play that. But yeah, you can just stand out if you take the time to learn these dances. So yeah, those are my tips on surviving your first high school dance. The most important thing is that you make memories with this because just a few years later when you're graduating and you're a senior, you're going to be looking back at those freaking moments. And it's going to make your high school, man. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like these, hit that subscribe button down below with the notifications on. I'm kind of separating my channel into different like little niches. I got like the student help section, which is what you guys are watching right now. I got my prank videos, my magic videos, and then my story time videos. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching again. I'm Shonda's Magic, and I'm out.